Hi friends, Chris Page here, going to show you how to do another fun DIY project. It is a pumpkin made out of this heavy um, sisal twine. It's kind of fun. So what you need to get started is Hobby Lobby has this twine. I'm sure other craft stores do too. I found it in the leather section um, back in the right hand corner of the store in Topeka. Uh, it is on the bottom right. Well, anyway, just go to the leather aisle where you find the leather and that's where you will find this twine. It reminds me of like baling twine growing up on the farm, the twine that goes and wraps the bales. So it's just a heavier twine and you will need wire. You can use paddle wire, individual wire. Um, probably not so heavy, just enough to hold it together. Of course, your scissors. And I'll show you how to use a pool noodle if you are concerned about getting your loops correct at the same size. And then you'll also want to have a stick and a hot glue gun, which I still gotta get that out. So what you're gonna do is if you, I just make circles and if you're concerned about getting your circles the same size, I'll show you how to use a pool noodle. I just cut a section off this noodle and you can make them whatever size you want. However, the bigger this loop, the floppier your pumpkin is, it's not gonna be as um, firm, or firm. Uh, probably won't stand up as well. So keep your loops on the smaller side. So we're just going to make five loops and you're going to take your wire and you're going to run it through the loops. And this is before I cut the other end off. So I'm still attached to my roll of twine. And you need to make sure you get those fairly tight. You know what, you might even be able to use a twisty tie or even a zip tie. A zip tie might actually, hmm, a zip tie might actually work better because then you can get them, you can get it pulled really tight and then cut your excess, cut away from your ball of twine. And that is one, that is one loop or one section of your pumpkin. I know it doesn't look like anything now, but trust me, it works. Now, if you want to have consistent sizes of your, consistent sizes in your circles, your loops, wrap it on a pool noodle. And again, I do about five loops. <clears throat> And this is where I find it a little bit difficult of sliding this off your pool noodle. And so that is smaller loops than what I first made and you want them to be the same size approximately. Not that big of a difference between. But then you would wire this just like you did the last one and you would have another group. Now, since this isn't the same size as my last set of loops, I'm going to undo this and make, and they don't have to be the same size, they just need to be about the same size. That's four, and that's five. And we're gonna make about four or five bunches of these loops. So now we have two and we're gonna go for three more. And you really do need to make sure that you get your wire tight.
because otherwise your loops will spring out and your pumpkin will boom, explode. So to see if I'm getting about the same size, I just hold them up. So that was a little bit small. Put it together here and see if I need to make some more loops. Maybe another, a couple more. <laughs> it looks like nothing right now, <laughs> but a pile of loops. But watch it transform. Okay, so all these loops are wired together. And so this is your center. So you're going to start building and putting these together. So then it starts forming that pumpkin shape. And so your wires are going to go in like so. See how we're getting that all? And this is when you might decide you need another loop or two. But you don't want to get that center so full that it's hard to manage. And once you get them wired together in there, you can, um, kind of maneuver them around. So I'm taking another wire, I'm running it through the loops all the way around, and I'll tie it again. So I'm gathering all those loops together. So now they're all wired as one. And I can, so again, build your loop. Tie it. Don't use scissors to cut your wire. You'll damage your scissors. Those scissors are already damaged, so I'm not too worried about it. And then you'll just have to wire it in again, or at this point, you may just want to hot glue it in. Ah, oh, he's a cute little pumpkin. Cute pumpkin. And you can manipulate these around, the rings around. I gotta get my glue gun. Now we're gonna finish up the pumpkin with adding a, I have a little piece of stick from a tree limb. Gonna just add some glue to that. Glue that in there for the stem. Adorn it with a leaf. Stick that in there. And if you want like a little curly cue, I have like, I just have like some little twine, um, wired twine. You can find it at your local craft store too. I'm gonna glue that in there as well. And there you have it, folks. A cute little twine pumpkin. Oh, it's so exciting. I love fall. I hope you love it as much as I do.
Do you have any questions on my runaway pumpkin here? If you have any questions on how to make this pumpkin, just holler at me. You can find me and follow me at on Instagram and Chris Page Designs on Facebook. So I'll catch you later.